You see, my son, it was not John the Fearless who brought La Pucelle to the stake here in Rouen, but his son, our great duke, Philippe the Good. Until this point, he had been ruling the Burgundian Low Countries in his family's name, presiding over an economic and cultural golden age in this corner of Europe. Outraged by the murder of his father, he quickly formed an alliance with the English to avenge the death of John the Fearless. But his war against the Armagnacs would have to wait. The Duke of Bavaria, who had fought with John at the Battle of Ote many years before, once more called for help from the Burgundians. This time it was not against an Armagnac revolt, but against his own niece. Jocelyn of Eno was not a woman content with obeying orders. For a short time, she had been the queen-to-be of all of France. But when her husband died, she was quickly relegated to her Dutch holdings. With her claim to the Low Countries contested by the Burgundians, she fled across the English Channel, where she married the Lord Protector of England. Together, they now return to claim the lands that she had lost to the Duke of Bavaria. Philippe, seeing his northern realms under attack by an English renegade, rode north to push them back into the sea. Once fought side by side with me, Philippe. Let us renew this old alliance and avenge the murder of John. C'est bon, 
I am an old man without an heir. It is said that you are not only an ambitious, prudent ruler, but also a wealthy man. If you are willing to pay, I will bequeath you my county. I know that it would be in good hands with you, Philippe. Bonjour, Ibati. Bonjour. Immediately, Ibati. Si. Immediately. Vos ordres. Ibati, Ibati. Si. My family has considerable influence in Congresi. And it just so happens that one of my relatives is a candidate to become the city's next bishop. Bring two relics there so that the Congresi will favor Burgundy. For service. Bon. So, immediately. Ah. Si. He mean. and some horses. Bonjour. A man of your standing cannot refuse a proper duel. Do not worry, Humphrey. I am on my way. Blood will stain our swords lest we be considered cowards. Y 
parti. Vos ordres, bonjour. Vos ordres, y parti. Si, y compre, y va, y va. Say lie. 
Treasures have been spent on the wall. Can you give the townsmen what they demand? Vosotros? Vosotros? I bati. Ba. I bati, i bati, i bati, i bati, i bati. Better, I would have sworn you to be my sister. 
You do not stand a chance against English longbows, Billy. Why not come over here to face me like a real man? What a magnificent building. Many believers will flock to it and fill the city's coffers. I mean. Fusor. Bonjour. I mean. Bonjour. Pra. I mean. Fusor. I mean. Fusor. I vai. I bati. I bati. I bati. Bad for me, Philip. 
I am not feeling so well. Sì, 
event. Iba, Iba, Bonjour, Iba. Sí, y compró.
Sì, sì. Sì, i vari. I mini. Tra i confronti. I mini.
法界。Immediately. Ra, bonjour. Dibati. Oh, how I'd love to fight you in person. A man that lives up to his reputation is a rare enough thing. Sadly, the boring old men in England think that I should not be fighting our allies.
Zot. Hadi. Gelmiş. are mine. You will have to pry them from my cold, dead hands before I get them.
time has proved to be wrecked. Bonjour. to go. Very well, Philippe. You have won this round, but as long as I breathe, I will not bow to any man. Ain't no is ours, and the English have fled. The lands are mine, and Humphrey and his English men are back on their way to England. Take Jocelyn to Kent, so she can no longer do any harm. Philippe treated his beaten foe with respect. While Jocelyn was a Burgundian only by marriage, her plot, while failed, had been in true Burgundian fashion. Even so, Jocelyn found her imprisonment in Ghent intolerable. Not long after her capture, her uncle, the Duke of Bavaria, was found dead, murdered by poison. It is unclear if Jocelyn was behind this, some have even speculated that Philippe himself ordered the assassination. But do not let anyone hear you say that, my son. Regardless, Jocelyn used the ensuing chaos to escape her house arrest. Dressed in men's clothing, she fled to Holland, forcing Philippe to keep his attention in the north. 